Extending Fractions, Grade 5 In order to add fractions, they must have the same denominator. Create an equivalent fraction for each fraction in the addition problem so that both fractions have a common denominator. Finally, add the numerators. The denominator stays the same. In order to subtract fractions, they must have the same denominator. Create equivalent fractions that have a common denominator. Then, find the difference of the numerators. The denominator stays the same. If possible, simplify. Look at this word problem. To solve it, you need to add the two mixed numbers. First, add the whole numbers. Then, think about the fractions. You know that one-fourth is less than one-half. Two-thirds is more than one-half. You can estimate that the sum of the fractions will be more than one-half, but less than one-whole. To add the fractions, create common denominators and add the numerators. The friends spent 18 and 11 twelfths minutes working on their game. When you multiply a number, you are making it larger or smaller, or scaling it up or down. When you multiply by a fraction, the fraction will give you an idea of whether the number will get larger or smaller. When the factor is a fraction less than 1, the number will get smaller. The product of 10 and 1 half is 5. This makes sense. You know that 1 half of a group of 10 friends is 5 friends. When the factor is a mixed number, or an improper fraction that is greater than 1, the number will get larger. The product of 10 and 4 halves is 20. To multiply any fraction by any other fraction, multiply the numerators. Then, multiply the denominators. If possible, simplify the product. Look at this word problem. You can model it by showing two rectangles one that shows two-thirds of a yard, and one that shows four-fifths of a yard. To find the area, multiply. You can find the same product by multiplying the numerators and denominators of the two fractions. The section of pavement measured eight-fifteenths of a square yard. A fraction shows a division problem. The bar between the numerator and the denominator means divide. The improper fraction 6 thirds can be read as 6 divided by 3. 6 thirds has a quotient of 2. The fraction 3 fourths can be read as 3 divided by 4. 3 fourths has a quotient of 75 hundredths. Look at this word problem. Three quarts of paint are being divided into four buckets. The fraction three-fourths shows three divided by four. Each bucket will contain three-fourths of a quart of paint. When you divide a unit fraction such as one-third by a whole number such as four, you are dividing one part of a whole into even smaller parts. Each third gets divided into four parts. Make sure to divide all the parts into fourths so that the whole now has 12 parts. One of these parts is one twelfth of the whole. One third divided by four equals one twelfth. When you divide a whole number such as six by a unit fraction such as one third, you are increasing the number of holes. By dividing each of six holes into thirds, you get 18 holes. 6 divided by 1 third is 18. Look at this word problem. The court is divided into halves. Each team of three friends stands on one half of the court, so each half is divided into thirds. Each friend stands on one-sixth of the court. One half divided by three equals one-sixth. 